Welcome to the Mindset Chick Podcast. If you are looking to stop settling and want to gain the clarity and confidence to manifest the life and biz of your dreams, then this show is for you. I'm your host, Christy Deer, sharing with you simple yet powerful and effective mindset tips that will allow you to attract more abundance, prosperity, and success into your life. So get ready, get excited, and let's go manifest some amazing things together. Welcome back to the Mindset Chick Podcast. I am so happy to have you here. And today I am so honored because we have a special guest, somebody that I'm so excited to introduce you to. His name is Brad Yates. Brad Yates is known internationally for his creative, and often humorous use of emotional freedom techniques. Brad is the author of the best-selling children's book, The Wizard's Wish, the co-author of the bestseller, Freedom at Your Fingertips, and a featured expert in the film, The Tapping Solution. He has also been a presenter at a number of events, including Jack Canfield's Breakthrough to Success. He has done teleseminars with The Secret, stars Bob Doyle and Dr. Joe Vitale. He has been heard internationally on a number of internet radio talk shows. Brad also has well over 900 videos on YouTube. They have been viewed over 31 million times. Brad, I am so honored to have you here. I adore your work. I have been watching your YouTube videos for years. I've been doing your tapping videos and they absolutely work. So thank you so much for being here today. Oh, my pleasure, Chrissy. Thanks for having me on. It's great to talk to you again. Yes, great to talk to you. And I got to meet you in person. And that was incredible too. I went to one of your tapping seminars in Dallas. So that was great. So the two tapping videos that I love and I do pretty much every day is expecting miracles and then also being a client magnet. And that Mm -hmm. client magnet tapping, I swear, every time I do that, I have somebody reaching out to me. Awesome. So, and I've been sharing your videos with my team and my clients for years, and they'll tell me just amazing stories too, and just how things start showing up for them differently and things start flowing to them and they feel better and they feel more alive. They feel less stressed, all that stuff. So before we've talked about tapping on episodes of the Mindset Check podcast, but I want to hear your story. How did you get into tapping? (laughs) How does a grown man find himself tapping on his face for a living? <laughs> uh, so yes, so I actually started out as an actor and I had traveled the world doing theater, went to Hollywood to be a movie star. And while I was there, I met a woman, fell in love and got married. And when our first child was on the way, I thought, you know, I should probably have a backup career. <laughs> so I had always been fascinated with the power of the mind and I trained to become a hypnotherapist. And I started doing that uh, alongside the acting. And after a couple of years, when our second child was on the way, I realized that as much as I loved acting, that personal development work was really my calling. And we moved from uh, LA up to Northern California. And at that time, through some other hypnotherapists, I heard about tapping and emotional freedom techniques, this process of tapping with your fingertips on primarily on your face and torso based on acupuncture. And so I, little by little, I started introducing this into my hypnosis sessions and little by little, they became tapping sessions with a little bit of hypnosis at the end. And then, and then it was in 2007, YouTube was still a pretty new phenomenon. And I thought, Hey, wouldn't it be cool if there's a tapping video that people could start their day with? And I'll call it tap of the morning. And that was all I ever intended to do was that one tapping video. And Actually, I, I guess I sent you my uh, my bio several weeks ago because I'm now over a thousand videos on YouTube. Wow. Wow. That's so incredible. I love it. I, did, I had no idea. I don't think I realized that you were in the acting field, that you were an actor. You can't tell from my videos with my <laughs> theatrical Shakespearean voice. <laughs> that is true. That's true. Now that I put it together. Well, why do you feel like tapping works? so well? Well, the quickest form of stress relief that I know, you know, without using some kind of uh, tranquilizer and, you know, which is the the basis of it is this tapping on these acupuncture points is dramatically lowering our stress. And we have scientific evidence showing that. 
uh, fMRI studies and chemical studies and things like that showing that stress is lowered. So when we consider that stress either causes or at least worsens most, if not all of the issues that we struggle with, physical and emotional, then having a tool that so simply reduces our stress, then we can understand why it's so profound in so many areas of our lives, including, as you say, the allowing good things into our lives. So like allowing miracles and allowing clients. And I like to say that the extent to which we're not experiencing what we say we want tends to be the extent to which we're resisting it because of fear and other ideas about why we couldn't or shouldn't have it. So when we think about having what we want, we have these old beliefs about why we couldn't or shouldn't have it. And that causes a stress response. And we, it may be very subtle. We may not be consciously aware of it, but it shuts us down a little bit so that we don't make the phone calls we could make. We don't show up to the appointments we could. And we do all kinds of little behaviors that keep us safely in our comfort zone because of that stress response. So using this process to clear that stress creates this greater sense of peace and safety so that we can allow ourselves to do what we need to do to have what we want to have. That's so incredible. And, you know, in this month of March, we're talking all about, you know, being able to receive. And sometimes we put up blocks to receiving and maybe consciously, unconsciously, right? Like Far more often than we acknowledge. (laughs) Right, exactly. And so, yeah, just tapping can help relieve that stress. It can relieve the fear. And like you just said, allow you to show up and do the things that you need to do to receive, to reach that goal to allow it in. Right. We want to be compassionate with ourselves in the process because so often we get mad at ourselves for not having more or not doing more. And the reason we generally, the reason we don't do more, if we're feeling like, ah, yeah, I don't do enough to deserve more, it's because there's a part of us that's afraid of having more. And so we stop ourselves from doing what it takes because of old programming about why we couldn't or shouldn't have what we say we want. And that's why we don't allow it. Yeah. That's really good. And that's a really good, maybe aha to so many just realizing that fear. So Brett, how many times a day do you tap? (laughs) Well, it it depends. Uh, If I have a lot of clients that day, I might do a lot more tapping. I've done workshops where we're tapping all day long, but I always start my day with a little bit of tapping. I recommend tapping on a daily basis because to me, it's energy hygiene. So we have physical hygiene, like brushing our teeth and taking a shower. And most of us do it on a daily basis, whether we feel we need it or not. We don't usually wait until people are holding their nose around us and say, ah, yeah, it's been a few days since I took a shower. Maybe now I should do that. We just keep up this maintenance. And so it's the same with our energy, because especially in the information age, when computers and on our cell phones, and we're getting so much stressful information all the time that stress collects on our bodies, just like dirt does. But most of us don't have a process for this hygiene maintenance in terms of our stress. So I'm doing some tapping every day, whether it's, you know, you know, don't wait until you are aware, just like taking a shower. You don't wait until, well, I've had a really good workout, but I haven't worked out for three weeks, so I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> don't, you don't wait until there's some obvious reason. So you can be tapping on just saying affirmations or prayers or just tapping silently. And just that alone will be lowering whatever stress you might be feeling in your body, even if you're not consciously aware of it. Yeah, I love that. And energy hygiene, wow, that's so good. And that's so true because sometimes people, maybe they'll do the mindset practices, the daily mindset practices or, or the tapping And then when things start going better, things start flowing to them more, then they might get out of the practice and then they go back when, okay, they're stressed, right? Or they're like, oh my gosh, I need this to manifest. I need this to happen. Then they're going back and tapping and panic. And, but just getting in that flow, getting in that daily habit, allowing that to be your daily practice. Cause I know for me, when I do tapping, Brad, I go to your tapping video. It's like, that's the first thing that I pop up. And my husband can tell like when I'm not, tapping because my mood might change. And maybe I'm worried about something or I'm talking about something and I have a a more hurried or worried energy. And he's like, okay, have you done your tapping? (laughs) And it's usually no, I haven't done it in a couple of days. And so when I am in that flow, and when I'm making that a daily practice and a habit, 
things just totally show up for me different. Yeah. yeah. Our energy is just in a, in a different place because we're not consciously aware of all of that stuff that all those different beliefs that are coming up, these different ideas and how that stops us in our behavior and how it limits what we allow. We have no awareness of that for the most part until after some time, as you're telling me about that, about your husband, it reminds me of the story of, I don't know if it's Vladimir Horowitz, one of the great pianists who said, if I don't practice for a day, I can tell the difference. If I don't practice for two days, my manager can tell the difference. If I don't practice for three days, my audience can tell the difference. And it's wow. such as this thing of how these daily practices make a difference. And so if the, the longer we go between clearing our, uh, our energy, the more that stuff comes up and gets in the way of us feeling our best, doing our best and allowing the best. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. I love that story. So what is, I want to hear, what is the best story that you've heard, success story from somebody doing one of your tapping, like in person or one of your videos? Uh, wow, it's hard, to, it's hard to choose. Some of my best stories are just, you know, my, my own experience of my life getting so much better from <laughs> yeah. the, the wonderful things that I've allowed and the really cool people that I get to meet because of what I do that uh, I didn't always experience. You know, I've had great stories from people about, I used to work with this client who ran her own business and she would just call up every so often and schedule a session. And she said, yeah, my staff will tell me, they'll say, okay, every time you have a session with Brad, we all make more money. So do more sessions. <laughs> wow. Wow. I, it has a trickle effect. A absolutely. Well, you know, for anyone who's, who's associated with you. And so your energy you know, energy is contagious. So the better your energy, whether it's just your mood or your financial well-being or things like that, will have a positive effect on those around you. Yeah. So, I mean, all kinds of great stories of, of people letting go of physical pain or emotional pain, you know, looking back at painful memories that for years may have caused them distress when it came to mind. And, and then after some tapping, being able to look at and go, oh, yeah, that's interesting. It's kind of like watching a movie now. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're observing it. And yeah. I love that. Well, so I know that you're just, obviously, you're so great at, you know, these tapping videos and leading people through tapping. So I would love for you to lead us through a tapping today on just being able to open up and allow more abundance and just allow more blessings so that we can receive all of the abundance available to us. I would love to do that because I would love everyone listening to this to allow more good into your life because the more good you have, the more you have to share. Yes. So it's a win-win situation. So please, let's do that. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so again, what I said earlier is the extent to which we don't have what we say we want, the extent to which we're not allowing it is the extent to which we're resisting it. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in and hold it and let it go. And just breathing comfortably, following your breath through your body, just allowing yourself to be aware of what you're feeling physically and or emotionally. And allow yourself to think about what it is that you'd want, something that you'd like to manifest, something you'd like to allow into your life. Allow yourself to imagine that you already have it. Whether it's being with a particular person or having a certain amount of money in your bank account or drive in a particular car, live in a particular house, or wherever it might be. Go ahead and imagine yourself, engage as many senses as possible, having what you'd like to allow into your life, having it already manifest. And again, just noticing how you're feeling inside. Notice those parts of you that say, oh yeah, this would be awesome, it feels so great. And go a little bit deeper. And allow yourself to be aware of any place in your body you might be feeling some resistance, some doubt, some fear, some part of you that says, it's not safe to have this. I don't deserve this. It's not right. Other people would be jealous. Allowing yourself to be aware of those thoughts, beliefs, and memories as to why you couldn't or shouldn't have this. And just rate that resistance on a scale of zero to 10. Now. Some of you may feel compelled to say, oh, it's a zero. I'm totally open to this. 
And I'm going to say, check again, because unless you already have attracted this or it's obviously manifesting, then chances are there's some part of you that has some resistance. So just allow yourself without judgment to be aware of where that might be. Maybe allowing yourself to say, it's safe for me to have this. And notice what ideas come up about why it's not safe. Take a deep breath, open your eyes. Hopefully folks are familiar enough with tapping. If not, you can go and watch one of my videos and see where all these places are. But for the moment, just go ahead and tap with the fingertips of your index and middle finger. Go ahead and tap with your dominant hand. You can tap with both hands on both sides of the body as we go through. So to begin with, tapping on the side of your opposite hand, so right there on the edge of your hand. And uh, repeat back what I say. Tap where I tell you to tap. Even though I might be resisting what I want, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though I might have some resistance to this, I choose to love and honor myself anyway. Even though I might have some resistance to this, although part of me says I don't, part of me insists I absolutely want this, and I would totally welcome it if it showed up, and I don't know why it's not showing up. And even though there might be some resistance on my part, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. Maybe anyone else who's contributed to this resistance. Yeah, tapping right at the beginning of your eyebrow. All this resistance. You generally tap like five to ten times. Follow your uh, eyebrow out to the uh, side of your eye, right corner of your eye socket. Gently tapping there. All this resistance to what I say I want. Right under the middle of your eye, just above your cheek. All this possible resistance. I'm tapping right below your nose. Some part of me might feel some resistance. Right under your lower lip, just above your chin. Part of me says, I don't resist this. Then right where your collarbones just about come together and you can make a fist and tap right there. Part of me says, I absolutely want this in my life. I'm tapping about four inches below your armpit. Part of me insists I have no resistance. And with all of your fingertips tapping around the top of your head. Part of me says, I'm absolutely open to having this. Eyebrow point. So I don't know why it's not showing up. Side of the eye. My door is wide open to what I want. Under the eye. It's just not showing up. Under the nose. And I'm doing everything I can possibly do to get it. Under the mouth. Yeah, right. Collarbone. I choose to be more honest with myself. Under the arm. If I really looked at how I'm behaving, top of the head, I might see that I'm closing that door sometimes. Eyebrow point. Maybe I've put a lot of locks on it too. <laughs> Side of the eye. And I'm refusing what I say I want. Under the eye. I don't want to believe that. Under the nose. But if I really look at myself. Under the mouth. I'm probably doing some things. Collarbone. That keep me from having what I want. Under the arm. And I don't need to beat myself up for that. Top of the head. It's not that I'm bad or stupid. Eyebrow point. It's not that I'm weak or lazy. Side of the eye. I just have some old programming under the eye telling me that it's not okay to have what I want. Under the nose, maybe it doesn't feel safe. Under the mouth, maybe I'm convinced that I'm not worthy and deserving of it. Collarbone, so it might already be right outside my door. Under the arm, but I've got that door bolted. Top of the head, because I'm trying to protect myself. Eyebrow point. When I don't take the action to get what I want, side of the eye. That's just me trying to keep myself safe. Under the eye. And I choose to love and appreciate those parts of me. 
under the nose that are blocking what I say I want under the mouth as a way of protecting me. Collarbone. And I'm reconsidering these fears and doubts under the arm. Would it really be unsafe to have what I want? Top of the head. Could I really not handle it? Eyebrow point. I choose to clear these doubts. Side of the eye. I choose to know that I can handle what I want. Under the eye. I can handle getting it. Under the nose. And I can handle having it. Under the mouth. And if anybody else has a problem with that, collarbone. I can teach them how to tap on that under the arm. Because the more good I allow into my life, top of the head, the more good I have to share with others. Eyebrow point. It's a win-win situation. Side of the eye. So I'm allowing more good things into my life. Under the eye. I'm a magnificent child of the universe. Under the nose, worthy and deserving of the best this world has to offer. Under the mouth, nothing is too good for me. Collarbone, and I've got what it takes to do what it takes. Under the arm, so I'm allowing more and more good into my life. Top of the head, in body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes and... Think again about having what you say you want and just notice how you feel about that. And you say, it's safe for me to have this. Hopefully that feels a lot more comfortable. And you may have come up with some other ideas or reasons why it might not be safe. And uh, you can tap specifically on any other blocks that might come up as to why you couldn't have what you want. Keep clearing that stuff out because nothing is too good for you. And the more good you have, the more good you have to share. Wow. I love that. My eyes are still closed. (laughs) (laughs) That was incredible. And I felt some things shift for me, you know, just for years of doing mindset work and tapping and lots of clearing, but there's still sometimes things that come up, you know, that maybe you're not aware of. And when you just close your eyes and you really feel into it. And then when you spoke those words, you know, just feeling safe, just feeling safe. And just knowing that, you know, what I always say is like, your dreams are just, I feel like put on your heart for a reason. It's just God's way of showing you what's possible and just feeling into it and believing it and believing that it's safe and believing that abundance is your birthright. And I feel pumped. I feel like, whoo, <laughs> incredible. And I feel like some things shifted for me. So thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. I'm happy it is. And Thank you for this opportunity to share that with other folks. And thank you to everyone who's tapping to clear that stuff. Because as I said, the more you clear that resistance, the more good you allow. And that's great for you and everyone around you. Yeah, so true. Change starts with you. And when you're you're feeling more abundant, when you're allowing great things in, then it's like a trickle effect. So yep. love it. So Brad, so how can people connect with you more because I'm sure everybody's going to want to like dive in and want more tapping from you. Certainly. Thanks. Easiest way is through my website, tapwithbrad.com. And I'm also all over social media at tapwithbrad, Instagram, Facebook, and of course on YouTube, but there's over a thousand videos there. So whatever might be coming up as to why you couldn't or shouldn't feel better, do better, have better, there's a tap for that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing all of your wisdom and your nuggets with us today. I really appreciate you being here so, so much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. And remember, friend, to dream big, follow your heart, and never give up on you because you're worth it. Thank you for joining me today on the Mindset Chick podcast. I hope this show has you waking up every morning excited about the new manifestations you have created in your life. And if you would honor me with a five-star review over in iTunes, I will happily enter your name in my Mindset Chick swag giveaway. Make sure you add your name to the review and I will reach out to you if you're the winner. 
I really appreciate you spending your time with me. Be sure to visit me at mindsetchick.com for past episodes and more gifts that will help you to manifest your dreams into reality.